morning everyone. Today I would like to introduce my ATC machine. This machine is very special and uh, today I will show you everything step by step. First, here, this is a controller, English controller. This is controlled by computer. So it will be very easy to use. So here, here is a USB and here is every button. Uh, this button for the machine, this button for the computer. When you press, it will be open. Power off, emergency stop. And here is a keyboard. Now we look here. Here is the camera. This is a camera. This is the Osnaliti knife, and this is a spindle. Later, I will introduce you uh, everything. What's the function for this? Okay. Now. Uh, this is a camera. For camera, it means it will scan everything and then use a knife or use a spindle to cut. For the non-leaking knife, it's usually cutting the foam. Like this. Like this. This is a foam. And also cut the cutting box. Like this. Cutting box. It will be cut by this. And for the spindle, it can use a lot of things. For example, it can cut the MDF board wood, aluminum, and the other uh, acrylic, something like that. Now here is the two magazines, because this machine is ATC machine, so we have 10 tools to do the, uh, for the spindle, for the two ATC change. You can, you can look here, this is number 10, right? Number 9, number 8, and uh, here, it has 10, 10 tools. Number 10. Here is the tool sensor. Uh, it means the machine will measure the tool to the calibration itself by this. Later, we will show you. This is the vacuum TV table. Uh, you can look. Our machine, we use uh, 8 millimeters uh, the groove. It will be very big. And uh, it means the suction will be very big. Look here. This is the suction tubes. We use the big ones. Here, this one is the cylinder. It's for the table uh, position. We have two in front and we also have three in the left side. Three left side. When you power on the machine, the first step, remember, for every machine, you need to back home. Look. Here. Operation. And here, X back home, Y back home, Z back home, see? And uh, you can press here, all back home. When you press it, you can see here. The machine will be back home. It will be Z back home first. Now it is Z. And then it will be the X and the Y. Now X and Y. Okay, that's okay now. It is stopped here. It means it has been... Now I introduce the controller, how to use. Now let me first to introduce uh, what it is. Okay, look here. Here is... Uh, this is a mechanical uh, coordinate. And uh, here it means machine where it is. And uh, here is the X, Y, uh, X, Y, Z. And uh, this is for the... Uh, work piece clear to zero. And uh, now let's introduce here. Introduce here. This one is spindle. It means spindle running. For example, I press it. You will see the spindle is running. The spindle lift. It means uh, the spindle cylinder, it will be down or up. Okay, let me press it. Uh, Mr. Cooling, it is for the uh, tool sensor.
for cleaning it. Uh, this one I will not show you. Uh, because when they do the two calibration, it will be cleaning itself. No need to use it. Dust cleaner is, is for the spindle dust cover up and down, for example. Now down, up, down, up, that's all. This is the vibrating knife on or the ice, uh, on or the off. It means when you press it, the uh, knife, it will be uh, vibrating itself, for example. You can see, you can hear the voice for the knife. This is the vibration knife up and down. When you press it, it will be up and down for the knife. Let me show you. You can see the knife down, knife up, knife down, knife up. Okay. The first thing I introduce the all, I teach you how to use it. First, we use the spindle first. We use the spindle first. Okay. For example, we want to work this piece. Now, what we should do first, we should set the work starting point first. Now, let's back to the, let's back to the controller. And, uh, we need to make the spindle cylinder down first. We make the spindle uh, cylinder down first. You can see here, when you make it, make sure. The spindle cylinder, spindle cylinder, it will be down. And the same thing also for the knife. When you set this, also make the cylinder down. Okay, now it is down. Okay, now it is down. Uh, in order to make a safety, we, it's better we use the hand wheel. It's better we use the hand wheel. Now look here, you change it. Here it means continuous, this one, continuous. And the second one, hand wheel move. And the, we choose the second one, hand wheel. Now we use this. Now we set it. Spindle, working start point, for example, is here. Now we use this to set. Now we use this to move. It will be very steep. Now we use this to move slowly. You can see it slowly. You can control the speed. When you make here something like this, it will touch the surfboard. That means it is okay. Use the hand wheel to touch it, the surfboard to the corner. That is the work starting point. Now, when you set there, you make sure here to make them to clear to zero. X clear to zero. Please confirm. Okay. For example, here. X is zero. Y clear. Okay. Y is zero. Z clear. Z is also zero. Now the relative G54, you can see everything is zero. That means the working start point we set well. We set the machine start point well. Second, we load the G code. Now here, file. Here, if we want to work on a G code, we will press here, load G code. If images, we open the this one, open D charge. Now we load the G code, for example. Press it. Then find the G code. For example, if this one is the file we want to work, just choose it and open. That's all. Now we load the file. Now where we find it? You can see here, program. Now, you, it will, this is the file uh, just now we load. 
Just now I show you how to set the spindle work starting point. Now I teach you uh, how to set the uh, vibrating knife uh, working start point. The same thing like the spindle. Now let's back to the screen. We also need to make the knife cylinder down first. Vibration knife. Look, it is done. This one is done. We also same thing. We also in order to make safety. We also make the hand wheel to move. Here, I need to uh, see one thing more. When you back home, make sure, make sure your knife, your knife, look here, the blade is to the spindle direction. Spindle direction. The blade to the spindle direction. When it is back home, the knife should be the spindle direction. It's very important. Now we also use the working uh, the hand wheel to move it. Put the Z down. Y and X. Okay. We also use this. We work on this form and move to the working start point. We need to slowly. Same thing, also it means cut the surfboard, then it means the working start point, Z here is set already. Now let's back to the screen. We also do the same thing, clear them to zero. X. Okay, zero. Y. Okay, zero. Z. Okay, zero. Uh, remember, for the knife, it is the G59. G59. This is the working start point, G59. The spindle is G54, G55, something like that. But uh, the, for the knife, it is only the G59. And also, because this machine, we have the two change. For the spindle, it is from T1 to T10. And uh, for the knife, it is T10. 11. Now we set the knife or working piece start point. It's already. Now we back to the screen. Now we use it, the program. For example, we set the program already. Now we input file. And here we need to open the DXF uh, because for the knife it only work with pictures. We press it. For example, for example, this one is the circle we want to cut. Okay. Open. Now it will be here. Remember, the color is white. Color is white. It means the machine. Uh, it is the uh, standard is uh, white. And when the white color, the machine will not work. If we want to work it. We choose the color for it. Here, we have green, red, yellow, light green, something like this. You can choose any color for it. For example, we choose the red. For example, we choose the red for it. Okay. We choose the circle first and choose the red. You can see now. It is a red. Now you can see it is a red. Okay, we choose it. Now come back here. Layer. Layer. To here. And here is the two number. Remember for the knife, it is number 11. And the speed. We can set. We can set here. And here we can set here the layer output two. Remember. For the knife, it is only the T11. Okay, speed, 
Here is uh, advanced. Advanced, we only get here material thickness, final depth, um, past depth. Okay. If everything well, we okay. Okay. Now it, it is uh, uh, we set the layer for, uh, well. We create to the uh, G code here. Create file. Okay, here I want to see once more. Uh, because we, this machine we have the knife and uh, the CCD and the spindle. So in the past I introduced you. If you use the CCD. Uh, you choose yes. It means CCD work first, then the knife or then the spindle. If you don't use it, we choose no. This one we introduced before. I, here I just see one thing. Now we don't use it, for example. No. Okay. Create file. F3. Now we can see here. Program. G code. Now. This one is the G code for the circle we want to work. Before the machine working, uh, we need to set the two uh, measure the two lengths first. And for the measure the two, it only measure the spindle tools. For the knife, for the vibrating knife, it doesn't need the measure two. Now let me teach you how to measure the two. Look here. Here is the coordinate press it now here uh, measure tools and uh, to change to change it means from which tool to change to which tool and uh, here the multi to measure this one is for the tool measure for example uh, this machine we have 10 it means 10 if we want to measure 10 we choose it if we want to measure 9 we choose it if we want to measure all then just uh, choose them. Then when you press it, it will be measure the two. When you press, it will be measure the two. Okay, now let's uh, make the two calibration. Make a sample for you. For example, now we want to measure the spindle. Now it is T9. It means a number nine. We choose a nine. Okay. We also measure the number one, number two. We need to press it. But before we do it, make sure, look here. G59, it is for the, G59, it is for the knife. We must uh, change it to the G54. Change it, just uh, to the spindle, spindle lift. Okay, close it first. You can see G54 and also the spindle down, right? Now let's back. Number one, number nine. For example, we measure these two. We press a OK. Look. It means the two tools has been to the calibration. It's finished. 
Today I will teach you how to use the CCD machine. Here is the CCD. Today we will teach you how to use it. Now first, here is a general pitch. Now first we choose the F2 parameter. Then you can see here, if we, we want to use CCD, we will choose. If we don't use, we will choose no. Now we choose CCD, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay now yeah. we choose CCD first. And then F3, camera. Okay, if the light, then you can see the CCD will scan here. If the light is not light, then you can choose the F5, CCD light. Then you can see here, the light on CCD will be open. Good. Okay. The second step, we will set the Z axis, or the stand part. Then we go here. Hand view. Okay. Hand view. the kind of view, we move Z to the material surface. When it touches, it will move. You can see now it touches at the material. Then it's okay. Okay. Z0. Okay. The third step is we choose the file. Okay. And then open the forget it. Then choose the DXX. Open it. Okay. Hey, this is the file you want to work. The next step is we choose the four point. For marked point to marked and the second to and it is also marked. Now you can see there one, two, three, four. The fourth step we will choose the different layers. For example, for this, uh, we choose the first one, Nisha Yuga. For example, if this one, uh, we choose the blue color. Okay, second. Uh, okay, different color. Then we choose the uh, F1. You can see here, we choose three different color. It will be here. If your machine is ATC machine, that means we can choose different tools here. For example, for the first one. Uh, red color, we choose the T1 or T2, T3. Okay. Uh, uh, then, for the last here, we will choose the different uh, parameters, thickness, depth, something like that. Oh. And then, when you finish them, then okay. Then F3, create a then it will be into the machine. Then you can choose here program. Then to find where your program is. Now the fifth step, we will move the CCD camera. Move the CCD camera to find the marked point. We use the hand view. Now you can see here no point. We use to find any point. It's okay. 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 The first point you can see, just in the camera, then it will be okay. Now it has been in the camera, it means it will be okay. Now we press the start, F9, then the camera will scan it. Yeah. You can see, 